We're getting a lot of calls from our viewers and one of the first things we hear is, we're retired so we need to pay cash because we won't qualify for a home mortgage, which is far from the truth. Or we wanna move closer to a body of water, somewhere where we can enjoy warm weather, fishing and relaxing on the beach. If this sounds like you, then keep watching this video. We're gonna share our experience and hopefully give you all some information to help you better understand your options when buying a home while retired. That's right, and we're gonna get after it so you can learn more about retiring here in paradise. So let's go. So let's start with this whole I'm too old to buy a house thing. We've had some clients think because they're only collecting social security that they can't qualify for a home. This is just not true. Of course, it depends on what you're making from social security, any debt, and of course your credit score. But let's use one of our clients as an example, husband and wife. Wife's collecting social security and receives about $3,000 a month. Husband is retired military and his pension is about $4,000 a month. When they called us, they didn't have high expectations and boy were they shocked when our lender approved them for $600,000. They also had little to zero debt, no car notes and very little credit card debt. I wish I could show you the excitement that came over them. We were able to help them purchase the home of their dreams to retire in. And we should also mention they sold their house in Michigan and made more money on that house than some people may make in about five years, which, okay, that brings us to the topic of buying your house in cash. So let's call our clients, Brad and Angelina, just to follow along. So together, Brad and Angelina are making seven grand a month and have $300,000 in cash to spend as they please. Angelina wanted to get a 30 year mortgage to keep their monthly payments lower, but Brad wanted to buy a house in all cash, but, then they would be draining their nice little nest egg that they had just received from selling their house up north. So, hmm, what to do, what to do? <laughs> now, I know bringing in $7,000 a month might seem like a lot, but boats aren't cheap. And side note, in case you weren't aware in the state of Alabama, social security isn't taxed and neither is your military retirement pay. Okay, so staying on track, Angelina and Brad like to live a pretty active lifestyle. They love to golf and eat out at restaurants. They've got grandkids that they absolutely love spoiling and they also have grown kids that they like to see very often. So having that large savings really helps them plan fun stuff to do with their family. And I'm all for making smart decisions when it comes to your bank account, but in this scenario, I agreed with Angelina, take the low monthly mortgage payment and have money in the bank, live that lifestyle that you want, rather than putting it all down on a house. And banks do not care how old you are. You have recurring monthly income guaranteed from the government that they give you. Banks don't care if you have a 30 year mortgage at any age, they can't discriminate. So take advantage of having some extra spending money and live the life you want today because we're not promised tomorrow. And come to find out they were both in their 50s. 50 is not old at all. Think about that. The Rock is 50, Shaq is 50, Brad Pitt is 58. Think about it. Jennifer Garner's 50, JLo's 53. JLo, can you imagine looking for retirement properties with JLo? That would be so cool. <laughs> let's go, let's do it. Jenny from the block, we've got your back if you ever wanna retire in Lower <laughs> Alabama. Okay, okay, so back to Brangelina. We were originally helping them find something in a 55 and up community. Then they realized that an active adult community with single family homes would be even better because it's a community that doesn't have an age restriction tied to it, but it offers all those great amenities like lawn care, maintenance, golf courses, tennis, shuffleboard, pools, you get the picture. It's basically for people wanting to socialize and relax all at the same time. I explain it like this. It's being a homeowner without the additional responsibility of being an actual homeowner. You should really consider it if you're someone who can't necessarily get out and do the same things you used to do, or maybe you just don't want to. I get it, I have those days, and Jessica has lived her whole life like that, so we definitely understand. Um, he is so full of it, and you know it, okay? <laughs> I do all the cooking, I do the cleaning, I'm outside gardening, hey, I do a lot. but I do laundry, so. Uh, yeah, you do, I don't, these hands don't touch the laundry, that's all you, babe. Anyways, let's get to that <laughs> warm weather, fishing and relaxing on the beach like you were talking about earlier. Case in point, he wants to get to what he knows best. I do, and that's my clients. They want to retire and move to a less expensive state and buy their dream home, the one that they've been dreaming about for years and years, the one that's their computer screensaver or the one they have in their car to look at when they need to escape the reality of a cold, miserable, overcrowded city. 
Ugh. It's okay, babe. You don't ever have to go back there. I promise. You're safe <laughs> now in sweet home Alabama. I know. It just takes me back, and I don't want to go back. <laughs> What he's trying to say is there's beautiful sunny days most of the year here. It rarely ever gets below freezing. There's endless fishing, whether it's freshwater or saltwater fishing, you won't be disappointed. I personally don't love to fish. I mean, I do enjoy like casting now, but once I get a bite, I just hand it over to Tony. He can do the rest until it's time to cook it up and eat it. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, she lives the good life. Yes, yeah, so, okay, speaking of the good life, you don't have to be a beach bum or a beach rat to live here, but it certainly helps if you do enjoy relaxing out on those white sandy beaches with that warm, salty bath water that we call the Gulf of Mexico. Now, if you're curious as to what it costs to live in such a paradise as we're describing, then you might be pleasantly surprised because it's not the same as Martha's Vineyard or Malibu, and it sure as hell is a lot more pleasant. You can find homes on Dog River, that take you right into Mobile Bay for below 200,000 or find a relaxing home in the country that ranges from 300 to 500 or along the Gulf Coast going all the way up to over a million. It really depends on what you're looking for. Just know we have it all and that's what makes Alabama. And not to mention the taxes here are lower, the population is lower, yet it has everything you'd ever want and need and cost of living is much more tolerable than some of those big cities that we've all seen. It is, but inflation still sucks, so it's not like you're living for free or anything, but it is much better. The only thing I gripe about is our electricity bill because it gets really warm here, especially during the summer months. And when I say warm, I mean it's freaking hot outside and humid. So yes, of course, your electricity bill is going to be higher because your AC is gonna be running all day and night. And that's why I suggested Angelina and Brad to splurge a little, get a boat, get a pool, enjoy those days off at the beach, become a member at the golf club, because if you don't, you may just wonder why you moved down here. Y'all, do you see this? Tony is such a baby, and that's why I'm gonna be making these videos for the rest of my life. All right, we hope our experiences and our story helped y'all or provided some information that you didn't already have. Now, I hope y'all see why retiring to Lower Alabama is the only way to go. If you're ready to find your perfect home to retire in, call us today. Lower Alabama is where it's at. If you don't believe us, check out any of our other videos and you'll be ready to pack your bags and move today. Thanks for watching and we'll see y'all later. See y'all in the next one.